Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Brad and this is Trail Recon. And if you followed this channel for a while, you know how passionate I am about basic first aid. And today I'm gonna show you a very nice pre-made first aid kit. You know, it's really important to carry a good quality first aid kit in your rig all the time, but especially when you're on the trail because you never know what could happen. And knowing how to use that equipment is really important. So let's talk about what we have here today. This is My Medics, My Fac. And this is an individual first aid kit. This is their premium kit, and it's a great kit that's already ready to go right out of the box. You don't need to add anything to this. I'm carrying this in my rig now. If you want to take a close up look at this and buy this for yourself, I will leave a link in the description. It's an awesome design, guys. Let's talk about what we have here. This is three pounds. It's got a great canvas to it. It comes in red, but they do have other colors. I like the red because if I need to tell somebody, hey, go grab my first aid kit in a pinch, they can go get it and no problems. They'll be able to see it really easy, grab it and bring it right over. It's got a Molly system. It's got a lot of Velcro on here so you can have different mounting options. I actually like the strap that it comes with that allows you to mount it on the head wrist. And then it's got a Velcro backing ripoff system. So if you need to grab this, you don't have to do a whole lot of unbuckling. You can just rip it right off and you're set. It's all nice. It's a great design. Now, let me bring you in close. Let's open this up and let me show you what we got inside. Opening the kit up, it's got two nice little drawstrings that make things really easy. So it opens right up into three little compartments. And I really like how this is organized. This third compartment down here with the mesh on it, actually rips off and it's got some really nice basic stuff in here so you don't need to mess with all the trauma stuff you just got something that you need some you know, band-aids or uh, little medicines that's what we've got in here and everything in here is wrapped up really nice into little ziploc bags which is really good so let me show you kind of what's in this little basic one here okay uh, i got some gloves so always have some good gloves you never know when you're going to be dealing with body fluid you've got a lot of good medicines here that are just kind of everyday use stuff. We've got some Advil, got some Dayquil, cold medicine, some Dramamine. You know, my wife gets car sick, so it's nice to have that. Uh, Benadryl is great if you have any kind of allergies or some allergic reaction. Some Tylenol, some bare aspirin, some Pepto Bismol. You never know when you're going to need that. And then there's a little bit of uh, Media Light, which is like in a little electrolyte solution. So that's good if somebody's having some kind of heat cramps or something like that. So nice little medicine set up there. Then this little packet is all your kind of creams and lotions. And I like how they're individually in little packets. And I don't have to worry about having tubes of stuff in my first aid kit. We've got some lip guard for chapped lips. We've got some petroleum jelly. Uh, there's some oral benzocaine in here, which is really nice if you got uh, any kind of cuts in your mouth and you need a little pain relief. There's some sunscreen, which you know what? I never have enough of in there. There's some uh, antibiotic ointment and some hydrocortisone for any kind of rashes. So that's a great little uh, setup right there of just creams and lotions. This little bag has got all your little pads and wipes in there. You've got some, uh, a couple iodine wipes. You've got some antimicrobial towels. You've got some alcohol pads. And then you've got just some regular hand towelettes, which are really nice to have. You can never have enough of those. This little guy right here has got an ammonia ampule and it's got a couple little bee sting bite um, pain reliever things. So these are great if somebody's passed out, you need to wake them up, you know, just crack that and stick that under their nose. And boy, if they're, uh, if they're even semi-conscious, you're probably going to wake them up with that. And then these guys, um, you just break the end and you squeeze that out and that will help if you got a sting or something like that. Really nice, handy little things to have. And you've got just a whole assortment of band-aids. And then uh, if you've ever done any hiking with the uh, military, you know what this is. This is moleskin. Uh, this is always nice to have if you got any uh, hot spots on your shoes or something. So that's a nice little handy little setup. Now let's get into the meat of it. Okay, in the next compartment, we've got a little more advanced stuff. So there is some suture material in here, and I'll do a video later on on actually how to suture. It's a good little skill to have, but you've got some 5.0 nylon and some 3.0 nylon, and this is non-absorbable suture material. It's got a needle in there, so everything you need if you needed to suture up a wound. Plus it's got some stereo strips, which are basically a little tape to close a wound, which is a really nice little thing to have. You've got a nice elastic gauze. Man, there's so many uses for this, and that's great uh, for sprained ankles, but if you need to do something else with that, man, I, there's a ton of uses for that. You've got some nice tape, and then you've got a great little kit of thermometer, uh, some surgical blades, 
a little light. Got some forceps, some scissors, and some tweezers. So all good essential stuff there. Down here we've got a triangular bandage, which is great if you have somebody that's got an arm problem or a shoulder problem and you need to sling their arm. So that's a great thing to have. Plus you can just you know wrap it around heads and having a triangular bandage is just essential. There's a CPR mask. So if you don't want to put your mouth to mouth, you want to have some kind of barrier, it's great to have a CPR shield there. There are two little sodium chloride solution washes and these are great. If you have a cut or a wound that needs to get flushed out, this is great to use if you don't have water. Uh, also good if you need to flush an eye out. If somebody gets something in their eye, this is perfect to use and I like having that in the kit. And then we got a burn dressing and some burn analgesics. So this is really nice. You know, if you've ever had a bad burn, uh, these can really help you out a lot. Also included is a little survival rescue blanket, which is always nice to have. All right, in the last compartment we have right up front is a rat tourniquet, which is very nice to have, easy access to if you need a tourniquet. And I will do a video in the future about all the different types of tourniquets and how to use this tourniquet specifically. Uh, that's a video that really can just be separate from this one. There is some oral hydration concentrated solution. This is uh, like an electrolyte stuff. It probably doesn't taste like Gatorade, but I guarantee it probably does the trick. There's some liquid skin, which is perfect for a good wound to give it a good uh, cover on there. That's great stuff. Comes with a little whistle and it comes with a uh, little finger splint. These are great. Uh, you can secure a finger if you have a fracture or some kind of finger sprain. You know, wrap up some tape there and you're going to mobilize a finger if you need to. That's a really nice little thing to have. It's got some hemostatic agent, so this is great if you've got uh, bleeding that just won't stop with regular methods. You can throw some hemostatic uh, powder in there and it'll help clot it. And we've got all kinds of gauze dressings, which are really essential to have. You know, you've got a roll gauze, you've got some non-adhering gauze, you've got some 4x4s and some 2x2s. So if you have a larger wound, something that a band-aid is just not going to cover, that's what you're going to be grabbing for in that situation. Trauma shears, every good first aid kit needs to have trauma shears because you want to be able to cut off any clothing to expose any wounds that you might have. Comes with a nasal airway and some lube. That way if you need to secure somebody's airway, if they're having a hard time breathing, you can stick that down their nose and make sure that they've got a patent airway. It's got a little chem light, which is a great idea. You know, if you're working at night, uh, having an injury, having a little extra light is perfect. There's a whole bunch of uh, cord here that is awesome to have. I mean, you get, there's a million uses for that. And then we have uh, what's sometimes known as an Israeli bandage. So this is a good pressure dressing. Uh, this allows you to you know, cover the wound, but also apply pressure directly over it to help control bleeding. So this is very nice to have in a kit. And the last guy down here is a, an occlusive dressing for a sucking chest wound. So if somebody gets a really bad injury to their chest and there's a hole there, this helps seal it. And again, I will do a video about how to use this and when it's applicable in the future. I hope you're as impressed with this setup as I am. It's a great design and it's got some really essential supplies in there. You never know when you're going to need a good first aid kit. In fact, I'd like to hear from you. Has there been an experience when you needed a first aid kit? Share that in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear about your experiences uh, using first aid kit and basic first aid skills. And hey, if you're visiting the channel for the first time, we just started a first aid series here where we're going to be teaching you some basic skills and how to use the equipment that's in here. So hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. And if you'd like to find out a little more behind the scenes action about what we're doing here at Trail Recon, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. We're always posting uh, what we're doing and what's coming up. So we'd love to have you over there on our social media. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching.